Hello everybody, D-Nice here today, and we're going to be talking about the NBA Finals, the Miami Heat, and the Oklahoma City Thunder. If you guys do not know, I'm a huge basketball fan that comes in and out of NBA or college, you know, Laker fan. I've been a Laker fan since I was born, so, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, I'll still watch a good game of basketball just, you know, to be entertained and see stuff, but uh, w um, my predictions when it was coming into the NBA Finals between the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Heat was... Uh, I was going to say that the Heat were going to win in about like 6 or 7. And for me, it was like the battle of the superstar. And the superstars were LeBron James and Kevin Durant. Those were the two superstars. They're the two only superstars that were in that series. Because they were the ones that would lead their team. And as you saw, LeBron James led his team. He scored, assist, rebounded, defended well. And you know... I'm not a big LeBron James fan, but you know I respect you know I respect him as a player because you know he um, he helps out the NBA. And at the end of the day, it looked like the Thunder didn't even want it. Like they had no energy. They they didn't want it. They weren't they weren't ready for the finals. That's what it was, I guess. They just weren't ready, and they just came in there like I guess with no expectations. But I guess they were the underdogs, you could say. But they didn't want it. And you could tell the Heat were hungry for that ring, especially LeBron James. He wanted that first ring, and, uh, you know, he did get it. And, you know, he, he deserves it. The Heat deserve it. If the Thunder would have won, you know, well, there was no way they would have won because they weren't hungry, and, you know, they they were just sitting back. What really surprised me was you think that uh, OKC, you know, Kevin Durant's team, he'd be having the ball most of the time, taking most of the shots. And it wasn't like that for most of the games. Russell Westbrook was taking most of the shots. Even, you know, he had like, I think, 45 points in a game three or four. Uh, you, know, you know, that's good, but was he taking too many shots? You know, that's what everybody says. Oh, he's taking too many shots, Russell Westbrook. But if Kevin Durant does it, it's fine. I think Kevin Durant only had like one shot in that last five minutes too, which is considered clutch time. Or the last five or two minutes is considered a clutch and, uh, you know, Kevin Durant didn't step up to the plate at all. He was just staying back and letting R Russell Westbrook do whatever he wants. And, you know, great players like Kobe Bryant, Le LeBron James, they're going to ask for the ball. You know, they're not going to be scared. They're going to put their team on their back, especially, you know, like I've been watching a lot of basketball. You know, Kobe Bryant does this all the time. You know, he might you might say he ball hogs, but, you know, he gets the job done. He's clutch. So, uh, also, you know, I thought the Lakers kind of got, like, gypped on that series against OKC they should have been up 3-1 you know they lost in the last like couple minutes but those that was some like coaching issues with uh Mike Brown and you know some maturity issues with like uh Andrew Bynum and just problems with the team you know with Paul Gasol and stuff so let's see what they do in the offseason but you know uh for any Heat fans you know good job I guess you know you guys had a good season a great season you know LeBron MVP and uh next year hopefully uh it's going to be Heat and Lakers, and Lakers will win. <laughs> we got to see what they do. You know, it's going to be an interesting season. Also, get David Stern out of the NBA, dude. It's, David Stern is just a horrible commissioner. He's just – he was talking to – what's his name? Um, I forget the guy, the ESPN uh, analyst, but he he was saying um, – uh, I'll look up his name. I'll put it in the annotations. But he was giving him an interview, David Stern, and he asked, was the draft rigged because the Bobcats – the worst team they only got seven wins that is horrible they didn't even get first pick in the lottery it was like 25 percent and uh they got gypped and new orleans is getting first pick so they're gonna get anthony davis the only legit player in the draft that uh you could possibly build potent like build around he has a uh, a lot of potential you know he's a he'll he'll be a good forward he's kind of reminds me of kevin durant a little i mean not kevin garnett a little bit but um so he asked him was the draft rigged and then David Stern tells the analyst, do you still beat your wife? And I was like, oh. what? Did you hear that, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> this is my friend Sean, uh, Sean right here. Sean Reborn is gamertag. Probably the best Call of Duty player. But he asked him, do you still beat your wife? What kind of question is that? That's kind of personal. Yeah, that's real personal because he supposedly like be beat his wife or something, you know. But thinking you know david stern the commissioner of the nba would have more class and more respect than that and then uh the analyst said uh um what like he was all like saying what and then david stern was just getting real mad and saying oh are you all right you're a baby or something so uh 
I, th- I say get him out of there. Also, you know, David Stern is the one who came up with that uh, rule that you have to go to college for at least a year before you can enter the NBA draft. And it's kind of cool when people come out of high school. You know, it's a chance that you take, you know, like Monte Ellis, Kobe Bryant, trying to get someone out of high school real young, Kevin Garnett. You know, maybe these guys don't want to go to college. They just want to go straight to the NBA. And it's a chance you take. You know, LeBron James, too. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But, you know, it's someone that you could, like, build around that has a lot of potential, possibly. Like, you know, Andrew Bynum, you know, you could work him up from age 17, 18, instead of age 19, 20. So, uh, you know, people say college does help. It does help, but some people don't need it. Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, they don't need it. So, uh, yeah, that's been the video, guys. You know, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe for some great content. And uh, if you haven't liked, well, like the video if you liked it, right? (laughs) So uh, talk to you guys later. Peace.